The Facebook series Red Table Talks has taken over the social platform since its launch in 2018. Since then, there have been hundreds of familiar faces sitting down with one of the best known and loved families in the business, the Smiths. Jada Pinkett Smith and her daughter Willow kicked things off at the very beginning, but with 62 episodes in total across three series, no one saw the success of it coming. And let's be honest, everyone wants a seat at that table, don't they? The show, of course, made its biggest mark when Jada and her husband, Will, took themselves to the table to address those juicy rumours about American singer-songwriter August Alsina, and that episode got 40 million views. And shortly, you'll find out why. The series has tackled some huge topics too, like white privilege, mom shaming not to mention that global pandemic we've all been dealing with, and has featured huge stars from Matthew McConaughey to Amber Rose. In this video, we'll talk about the top 10 revelations that have happened round that red table since this series started. From tears to confrontations, and don't forget, entanglements. Ha <laughs> ha, we've got it all. Just make sure to take this opportunity to like this video and subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss out on anything, do you? Kicking things off at number 10, it's Willow's rare comments about her love life. One of the final episodes of 2020 brought us a conversation about the biggest heartbreaks of the year. When Willow was asked to reveal her most recent heartbreak, she said, I had some personal decisions I needed to make this year that were really hard. I learned how to set some boundaries in my romantic relationships, and I'm so grateful that my partner was open to what I had to say. Well, how juicy is this? And what could she possibly be talking about? Now, Willow has never uttered a word about her relationships until now. And even here, she isn't really giving a much to go on. She's probably learned firsthand from her parents that too much limelight is not always good for romance. In the world of rumours, we think that Willow is in a relationship with Tyler Cole. They're in Willow's band The Anxiety together and have been spotted in public together several times. But as Willow has referred to Tyler as a close friend, who knows what's going on there? And she has even said in the past that she does not believe in monogamy. The feeling of one person, you're my one and only forever, just doesn't seem to work for Willow. In at number nine, more of Willow, but this time she was coming clean about how she felt shunned by the black community. In this episode, the main conversation was about mum shaming, all to do with the backlash some famous parents get about how they raise their children. And you can imagine that Jada had a lot to say on this topic. She said, I've had my fair share of mum shaming with Willow was the first time I got hardcore criticism. And apparently there was a firestorm when her daughter first cut her hair. Anyway, Willow then joined in the conversation, saying that she remembers her mum being slammed publicly for having her kids homeschooled so they were able to be with her and her husband Will whilst they worked. But what really hit home with viewers on this episode was Willow saying, specifically from the African-American community, I felt like me and Jaden were shunned a little bit. She went on to describe how she felt the community looked at her differently by saying, we're not going to take pride in them because they're too different. She even said she's been made to feel this way by some of her own family members. Time for number eight now, and it's all to do with Willow and quitting smoking marijuana. She was once a regular user, but she revealed during one episode of a Red Table Talk that she had quit. This was an episode all about coping with addiction and anxiety, which was pretty timely in the middle of a pandemic, wasn't it? Anyway, whether it was something that Willow wanted to discuss or not, Jada brought it up, saying, Willow, I'm really proud of you as well because you have decided to curb your excessive weed smoking. This conversation was pretty emotional as Willow's grandmother was there and she's overcome substance abuse in her lifetime herself. She said, for me, it was like me. With the history we have in our family, it was driving me crazy. According to Willow, she hasn't been smoking marijuana for three months. And while she does still use CBD supplements, she stepped away from THC altogether. She said, when I stopped smoking, it was a really big eye-opener because I think there are so many people I call friends in my life who drifted away. It really made me think. It's very social. For me, it was. When you're young and you're out with your friends, you don't think anything of it. Now, while she has acknowledged how beneficial it can be for medicinal purposes, she has said that she's been feeling less anxious since she stopped smoking, and this came as a surprise to her, not to mention she feels more productive and more focused. 
Time for number seven now. It's the girls' trip episode. Now, quarantine was filled with virtual reunions, but none were quite like this one. It was a reunion of the cast of Girls' Trip with Queen Latifah, Regina Hall and Tiffany Haddish, all joining Jada for an episode in April, filled with new TMI tidbits. And as for gossip and inside information, this episode had all the tea and it was being spilled everywhere. Tiffany Haddish says Bumblebee pop in in a reference to the online dating app. She said you can talk to guys, FaceTime them without giving them your number, watch TV shows together and them watching me cook is something just like that. It's fun until the dudes try to pull their wee-wees out and this was just the start. She then started talking about why she prefers smaller wee-wees. She says they respect you more and buy you nice gifts. Number six, it's the one and only Matthew McConaughey. He's one of the most famous actors in the world, starring in Gold, The Dark Tower, White Boy Rick and Serenity all in the last three years. Anyway, everything might be cool between him and his mum now, but there was a huge stretch, eight years to be exact, where they had one heck of a falling out. So what better place to talk it out than around the red table? Matthew explained, mum and I had a rough patch for about eight years just after I got famous, but we healed in 2004, shortly before the the success of A Time to Kill. He said he was trying to have his weekly call to home on a Sunday, but it was like his mum wasn't at the other end. She turned into a fan. He also said that it was at a time where he was trying to find his own balance with fame and his real life. And whilst he was trying to have conversations with his mum, as a mother and son should, lots of the things that he would say would then end up on the news not three days later. Glad it's all all right now, though. Time for number five now, and it's our halfway point. It's Will Smith's appearance for a Father's Day special. And whilst this might not be Will's most dramatic appearance on the show, it was very revealing. It was all about the harder parts of Will's life, like growing up in an abusive household, his first marriage and divorce, as well as mistakes he's made as a parent. He said that divorce was the worst thing in his adult life and made him feel like a failure. Then he even described himself as a distant father to his son Trey, who was born before he met Jada. Homeschooling came up in this episode too, saying that the reason he wanted Willow and Jaden around all the time was so he didn't become a distant father with those two as well. But it was the chat about parenting that really got fans and audiences talking. Will said he had a certain type of parenting that he did with Trey and describes it as old school. He said this version of parenting was hurting Jaden and Willow, well, she rejected did it all together. He then recalled the issues that he had with his daughter following the success of her song Whip My Hair as she wanted to quit her tour with Justin Bieber after just four or five shows. He reminded her that she couldn't go home because they were committed, to which she said, Daddy, doesn't it matter how I feel? Then she shaved her head in an act of defiance. The song was called Whip My Hair after all. Number four, Snoop Doggy Dog. He appeared on the show about why he angrily went off on Gail Kind, calling her a dog head, B word, for bringing up the rape allegations against Kobe Bryant after his death. Jada said the second time she was rooting for Snoop was when he decided to apologise to Gail. He admitted he lost control after the deaths of Kobe and his daughter, Nipsey Hussle, and both his own grandson and grandmother, saying he let his emotions get the best of him. And what was revealed was that a lot of people did agree with what he had to say at the time. It was just the way he expressed it that had people cringing. Time for number three now. It was the Amber Rose and Rumor Willis conversation, all to do with the experiences of non-consensual sex. This was all to do with the so-called grey areas around consent. Willis revealed her first time experience, saying she was 18 and was more focused on not having done it than actually wanting to do it. She said, I was not abused, it wasn't rape, but I didn't say yes. So the whole conversation was around no means no, but what if you can't say no? And to be honest, it was a really interesting conversation, talking about about recognising signs in partners, Amber Rose contributed her own experience to the conversation too and concluded it by making clear that she has been very upfront with her son, who she shares with Wiz Khalifa, about everything from menstruation to consent. Number two, and we're getting close to the bit we all really came here for. Anyway, number two, it's Adrian Branfield Norris and her objections to having Olivia Jade on the show. Adrian is, of course, Jada's mum, who's widely known as Gam. And before Olivia Jade had the chance to sit down on the red table and talk about her family's involvement in the college admissions scam, Gammy made it clear she didn't want her on at all. She said, I fought it tooth and nail and found it really ironic that she chose three black women to reach 
page out to for her redemption story. I feel like here we are, a white woman coming to a black woman for support when we don't get the same from them. Then, when she actually made it onto the show, it opened up opportunity for conversations about privilege. Definitely worth a watch. And here goes the moment you've all been waiting for. The biggest and most famous Red Table talk with over 25 million views. It's Jada bringing herself to the Red Table with her husband, Will, to talk openly about rumours from open marriages to cheating to separation. This came after earlier in the year, American singer-songwriter August Alsina claimed Will Smith gave him his blessing to pursue a relationship with Jada after he came to the Smith family for comfort and support whilst dealing with drug and alcohol dependency. And whilst the blessings part of the story wasn't quite true, it turns out that Jada and Will were separated at the time and Jada was open and honest about her relationship, or in her words, the entanglement with August. Yep, that was the juiciest moment of the year and definitely the most talked about. That's it from us today, but let me know in the comments below what your favourite Table Talk moment is or what topics you think should be covered in the future. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the very latest from the celeb world.